Okay, here's the web fed press. My battery died on my other camcorder while we we're in the middle of a pressing job. So, this is actually currently pressing one set, our first set. The, uh, and it's got 10 seconds left to press, and then our work will exit. I've got my uh, guys loading up two more stations. Now, you'll notice the blower turns off, the cooling station turns off while the press is indexing, and you'll notice that the air knife is blowing off any dust and product materials off of there. And then we activate and press again, and while it's pressing, the blower comes back on, and there's our finished printed product. Looks pretty good so far, we'll see it when it comes out of there. Blower blows while the press is activated. While the press is pressing, the blower is cooling off the uh, second uh, the station that just exited. When the press is moving, the blower turns off. The air knife activates and blows off any loose dust and uh, particulates from the station. And the moment the press is finished, that's the time when it indexes the web. So the web is going to index, and I'll show you that at the next uh, cycle, which is about 30 seconds from now. While it's pressing that next set of work. Here's the uh, transfer roll loaded, going through the assembly. This sensor follows the line to keep it on track left to right, and these two sensors, I think you can see the uh, lights, sense the uh, registration marks for front to back positioning of the transfer. I think the press is about to finish, so I'll show you the uh, web indexing. So the, the press finishes and releases, and while the machine is indexing product in, it is also positioning the transfer. And once it's finished, it activates the press again. So the product, uh, the transferred. And this is our cooled product. I can put my hand on here, and it's like a warm day in Texas. Wonderful, wonderful, not a problem putting labels on this surface. Uh, I'd say it's probably like 100, 110. Uh, so fantastic. Boy, does this look good. Oh my, wow, this came out great. Um, one issue I see here, I think you're going to need to bleed your image over the edge just a little more because of the slop you have in these, uh, in these uh, templates. But uh, we can, we can fine-tune that a little bit, but you might want to bleed just another eighth inch over. But all these uh, have nice, perfect coverage. I'm going to set this up on this end, so now we just want to do a continuous run of ten minutes. I'll set this up here so it watches. And, and then I'll go start loading stuff. Uh, that's good, right there. Okay, so we're just going to start loading and unloading as much as we can. We've run out of some blank products, so we're going to keep reprinting some, but we want to see this run. All right, let's, uh, let's unload. Okay, so we went through three cycles and we ran out of jigs, but this is what came out in one continuous video run. All of these pieces 
nice and crazy perfect. Automatic transfer indexing, automatic registration. Uh, so that's what we got in three continuous runs. I'm going to do some more just so we can see the web indexing. We have some uh, lightly printed samples when we were first doing tests and also some junky uh, uh, overprinted that we're going to reprint. And so what we'll do is uh, activate the press and uh, make sure those are all lined up and clear. And I'll show you the web indexing from the other side. So we're going to get those loaded. And repeat yes. Okay, press is activated. And what we want to see is the web indexing from the other side. And uh, if we could load up as many jigs with junk prints as we can. Appreciate that, guys. Here's your PBRL 56 indicator light. So we have a new light. The white light on the bottom is when the web indexing is operating. Here's your control panel down here. Uh, give me an idea of these settings. This is your forward and reverse jog, just like on the other press. This is your auto and manual, just like on the other press. So from here over is the same. Here's your e-stop. Uh, we push just this green button. Once you have your web loaded and on here, you push this green button once and it will automatically index the web to the first pressing uh, uh, setup of images on the paper. So it will automatically index the first set of images on the paper automatically when you hit this green button. One really important note on the design of this press, if you e-stop the press, shut it down with any of the uh, e-stop uh, or the photo eyes in the opening of the press, when you reset the press, you have to reset the web indexing for three seconds also. The web indexing has to be separately reset. Okay, we're just about at the end of our uh, pressing cycle. I'm gonna run around here. So when the press opens and it's ready to index, while the machine is moving, and when the machine indexes, the roller assembly also indexes as well. And we're registering to the line. And we have our two photo eyes here registering to the markers. And we're pressing again. And notice, while it was indexing, the air knife was running. When it's sitting still and pressing, it's cooling the next station of work. So we're either cooling or we're blowing air on the product that's moving in. While the press is indexing and going through, your web feed assembly is automatically going. It's fully automatic. So once you get this roll loaded, and fed through the press and on the other side, you press that green button once, it'll line up itself to the first pressing set and then we're all good to go. So now our, our uh, recent set of work is being cooled off to hand touch temperatures, which is a big relief. That's kind of a Christmas miracle uh, that we got it that cool in one cycle. And this is only pressing for about a minute and 10 seconds or so. We're putting our junk samples through once again, just to show it going. Thanks guys. That's it. We've run out of product. We've run out of jigs again. So we only had jigs enough for uh, three sets of pressings. That's why we had to interrupt the video halfway through. Don't hold it against us. Okay. And we've got five seconds left on the clock. Press releases. And we'll see the, uh, the white light comes on. What does the white blinking light mean? It means that your transfer is indexing. It finds the transfer position. And once it's in position, then it'll...